Currently, we have our scrolling content. Whenever our mouse is on top of the element that contains the content, then we stop the scrolling from happening. We've also created a button that we can stop and start the scrolling. And we also have a scroll speed input up here. So let's activate those in this lesson, opening up our editor. We can select, instead of getting scroll speed, we can select the scroll speed from the input directly. As we've already set it up as an object within our, H, within our JavaScript, so we can take our speed object and set our scroll speed to be speed value. So now as we decrease the value, the speed will decrease. As we increase it, the speed of the scrolling can increase as well. Let's also update and activate our button. So we've got our button element that we created initially. We added an event listener for that button. And right now all it's doing is click. So we've got a number of things that we can do with it. There are several ways to toggle a value. So I'm just going to show you one and we can use the uptick in order to do this. This is the shift six equals and we can set it to true. So see what happens whenever I click the button, it's going to actually toggle that effect. So we can turn that on and off and we can also restart it whenever we click. We can also update the value that's contained within the button. So selecting the button, we could update our inner text of the button, whatever the value of scroller is. And if we want to get the Boolean value, we can output it this way. So going back to click, it's Boolean one or zero. So right now it's zero, now it's one and so on. So I'm just going to update it to be click. So right now scroller is off then scrollers on, scrollers off, scrollers on. Or we could use a ternary operator where we check to see the value of scroller. And just as we used down here, we can return back either or stop. So let's try that out and click. And actually that should be backwards. So we can uh, negate that. And now we can have it to start again and stop whenever we want. And this way we can update the button values as well. So go ahead and try this one out for yourself. And remember this is the uptick. So this shift six on most keyboards is gonna give you this character. And what this does is it allows you to convert a number. So this is a bit bitwise XOR assignment operator. So what it's doing is it's toggling the value so if it's equal to true, then it's going to be false. And if it's equal to false, it's going to change to true. So it's toggling that assignment operator. And this is a quick way that you can update those Boolean values of your variables. So try it out for yourself.